welcome in and happy Thursday! Happy Thursday, everybody! Hope y'all are doing well today. Hello, hello. Dark, congrats on that 90 stream streak! Holy moly, 90 streams! That is insane! Thank you for watching. Hello, hello! Welcome in, everyone! Grima, Megarock, Dark, Squid James! SCV, welcome in! It's been a while! Metal Spider, Chevy, welcome in, everybody! Hope y'all are doing well. It's Shades! Shades for Shades! Can we have a shout out for Shades for Shades, please? How did the Stardew go, uh, Shades? How did that go on the, uh... The, uh... The bit -a -thon that you were doing with Yuki Scribbles. How did that go? Hope that went well. Maddie, welcome in! Hello, hello! Good to see everybody! Oh my goodness! 36 hours and we still have 35 more. Oh my goodness! 35 more hours! You got this, Shades! You got this! You can do it! You got this! Oh my goodness! My voice is destroyed worse than all of the goals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> get some water, get some rest while you can, please. Do what you gotta do. No slaying shades. Why would I do that right now? I'm literally telling you guys to support him, please. <laughs> Go give him all the support. Wait, what the heck? Oh, it didn't loop. <gasps> How dare. The music didn't loop. How dare. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Whoopsies. My pink eye is getting better and so is my throat. That's good, Chevy. I'm happy to hear that. Doing the waiting process. Dad flying to Texas for relative's wedding. Ah, I see. I think you can guess what I did yesterday from the emoji I put. I did see some of the pictures that you put in Lyra server. That was pretty cool, Maddie. Pretty, pretty cool. Stardew is so much fun. It is! You could get lost in it for a while. You you just keep playing and playing and doing the routine and stuff and it's just... You can get lost in it. <laughs> I definitely have done that in the past. <laughs> oh, goodness. I did some uh, blood donations with my dad. That's awesome! Ethan Stretch! But yes, I met, I saw some people in chat were confused. Uh, but yes, we are playing Last Spectre, which is a prequel game. It is three years in the past from... Because um, Curious Village, Diabolical Box, and Unwound Future technically all happened within the same year. And then... Um, Last Spectre is three years prior to that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be fun. It's even more fun with mods like Stardew Expanded and the that other town. Eastgarp? Yes. Eastgarp, yeah. Um, Expanded does look wild. Oh, yes, it's so fun. There are a lot of cool new characters in Expanded, as well as in some of the other expansion mods that are absolutely insane. Professor and Luke did these three adventures in the same year? Yep. All in one year. Pretty insane, right? <laughs> and easy way to um, confirm this is that in Unwound Future, the Chronicle is in between the I'm biggest thirsty. exploits. Indeed. Thank you for the hydrate. The easiest way to confirm this is by Unwound Future. In Unwound Future, in the flashback cutscenes, it's ten years in the past. So, um, he is, and he is 27 in those flashbacks. So he's 37 in Unwound Future. Also, we also get confirmation of it in the Pretty much right away, so. 
<laughs> Before continuing the stream, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Opera DX. <laughs> no. <laughs> no rest for the wicked? Oh. Oh dear. Genshin! Ordinary, welcome in! How are we doing today, Ordinary? Not only did I go shopping in Akihab Akihabara, I went to a maid cafe there. Awesome! Cool! All in one year. Fight the efficient duo. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, oh, goodness me. I am very excited, though. Last Spectre is kind of an underrated gem. The underrated gem of the prequels. All the prequels are fantastic. But because Last Spectre was the only one that was for the Nintendo DS, I have a feeling it kind of gets kind of beaten down a little bit <laughs> but I hope that y'all will enjoy it because I know I will I got spring break next week nice awesome good morning Bray Jared welcome in oh goodness I hope y'all are ready because I am mmm it's gonna be good Going to a local museum in Ohio in a few days. Nice. Hope you have fun with that, Panhead. I wrapped up the day with the arcades in Gigo for Taiko no Ta Tatsujin. Okay. And Taito for Street Fighter 6 Type Arcade and Tekken 7. Nice! Sounds like a very fulfilling day there, Maddie. Sounds like a very fulfilling day. Alright, hold on. Ooh, buh, 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 buh. Ah! Wait. Hold on. Music is very loud. Just a sec. Anyways, I'm gonna swap screens here. Oh, shoot. I just realized that- hold on, what the heck? What happened to the chat? What happened to the chat? Oh, there it is. What in the world? And you guys can't hear it. Hold on. You guys cannot hear the chat. Hold on. I mean, here is the... Whoa. Okay, there we go. All right, can you hear the music okay? Can you hear me okay? Just a little bit. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Alright. Alright, we gotta figure it out. We got it all good. We're all good. <laughs> it's not gonna break the stream or anything. Yep, we hear you. Yay! Perfect. Alright. Okay then. It's time to get started. Alright, bye Chevy! Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp! Logan Quinn, welcome in. How are we doing today, Logan? Hope we're doing well. Alrighty. Okie dokie, new adventure. But also, you see this shadow over here? That's someone new. Someone new is joining us. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy, it is time to begin. Watching this stream while packing my stuff for my flight back. Good luck, Maddie. Hope you have a safe flight back. All right. I'm um, doing wonderful. It's good to see you. I've been following for a bit. Just been so busy. I haven't had time to come by. No worries, Logan. I understand that life is busy. I completely understand. Is Luke in this? Yes, Luke is in this. It wouldn't be a Professor Layton game if Luke wasn't in it. <laughs> Alrighty, though. Alright, let's, let's begin. Here we go. This is a work of fiction. The characters, groups, and events portrayed within are in no way intended to result. Oh, here we go. Long ago, in a lawless age, Ooh. a pack of bandits invaded a small village. 
Amidst the chaos, a terrified young farm girl played her flute to drown out the madness. Here we go. As the music spiraled high into the sky, a giant specter appeared above her. She begged the specter to destroy <laughs> the bandits, and it swiftly obeyed. The New town character. was saved, and the specter vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. But the farm girl knew that in times of danger, she needed only to play the flute, and the specter would appear again. Hmm. A quaint tale, wouldn't you say? Aye, master. I think the time has come for us to pen the next chapter. Of course, master. Hmm. Oh, here we go. There's uh, a professor. What do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. <laughs> I'm still having a tough time oh, buying and all there's of our this. new character. Sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, <laughs> we'll soon find out. Mm. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. <sighs> oh. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? This is American Luke. This is American Luke. Uh, hmm? What is <gasps> what on earth could that be? It sounds like it sounds like music. Uh, uh, the flute. It must be. Pay attention, <gasps> y'all. Quickly, to the window. <gasps> Can this be? Spectre. Heartless. <laughs> Seeing this dark giant Gosh, made me even <laughs> more determined to help the professor keep his word. Together, we would shine the light of truth upon this ghastly shadow. Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Mm. Prologue. So we meet again. Meet again. Hmm. Top of the morning. Why, thank you very much. Ah, and Rosa. Professor? Oh, Professor. Professor, a letter just came for you. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> thank you, Rosa. <sighs> professor sleeping in his Sounds office. Sounds like someone was up researching all night again. It's mm. no wonder the other professors are so intimidated by you. Oh, they just think that I'm some young upstart. You work too hard, Professor. It's no good. By the way, Dean Delmona came by and said he needed to speak to you. And that he would what is this? Later today. I don't know why he had to tell hmm. you that. He could have Regards just Clark. By, if you Regards are. After Clark. all these years? The hmm. Rosa, I'm going out. Hey. Oh. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> the backwards I hope walk. Remembers to eat something. <laughs> oh dear. Whoa. Whoa. We got a motorcycle. Oh, and she's after him. Um. Huh. 
See here, what was that about? <sighs> nice to see you again, Professor Layton. And you are? Ah. And there she is. Why didn't Dean Dilmona tell you? Hmm. Okay. Why didn't... Yes, no. Dean Delmona. Remember, Rosa was talking about Dean Delmona before the professor hurried off. Tell me what? I'm Emmy Altava, your new assistant. And that's her, Emmy Altava, an assistant to the professor. Call me Emmy. I'm sorry, you're my... Assistant? You do know what an assistant is, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you kind of did just run in the middle of the road in front of the professor's car. That's not dangerous at all, you know? Of course. I'm sorry, Miss Altava, but... Professor, please, Emmy, and stop apologizing so much. <laughs> My goodness, Emmy. All right, Emmy. So sorry. But it seems that there has been some sort of mistake here. Oh, I don't think so, Professor. Dean Delmona hired me himself. Oh, hired it seems by the that dean you have himself. been too busy to attend your departmental meetings lately. Is that right? Well, I suppose there might be some truth to that. However, mm. sounds to me like if anyone needs an assistant, just wait, you. Penhead. So from now on, I'll be the backup on all your projects. Got it? Great! I can't wait to get started. Hmm. I wasn't too surprised the professor didn't remember me. It had been some time since our first meeting, after all. Oh? And clearly he had a lot on his mind. Which is exactly why he needed an assistant like me. It was my first day on the job, and I was ready for anything. Or so I thought. We still had yet to Make meet a young yet. boy who would help us unravel the strangest mystery I could have ever imagined. The young boy. I wonder who that could be. So what perplexing mystery are we hot on the trail of now? Why would you ask that? Professor, that's what you're always doing. <laughs> well, you're off to somewhere in quite a hurry. Something must have piqued your interest. <laughs> that intuition will serve you well. What's this? A letter? Mm-hmm, naturally. Very good. I received it about an hour ago. Go ahead, read it loud. Herschel, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. Mm. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please, come soon. Regards, Clark. Regards, Clark. Hmm. A giant? Oh, that's... Uh, how well do you know this person? Clark and I go back a long way. I can't imagine he would fabricate stories for no reason. Hmm. I find the other message in the letter very interesting as well. Other message? Ah, and our first puzzle! We will be learning the Professor Layton lore. The guy up top, Clark, looks like a courtroom judge-like character. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> I could see that. Yes, Professor Layton lore. Alright. It says, there's a s find the hidden message below. Hmm. Well, there's a good thing here. Let's see. Reading left to right and top to bottom is the normal way to go. But you might have to approach this letter from a different direction. Hmm. Oh, and we have the new puzzle theme as well. The secret message is made up of seven characters that are somehow hidden in the letter. The trick is to find where those seven characters are hiding. Oh, that's right! 
One, two, three, four, five. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, we now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. Seven lines, seven characters. H, E, L, T, S, O, S. Help, SOS. I think I've got this one. And there you see Emmy's puzzle you solving animation. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. <laughs> Correct. The secret message in the letter was help, SOS. What is going on here? Hmm. Yes, we know about pickerettes. I found the secret message using the first letter of each line. Emmy, you just may turn out to be quite valuable as an assistant after all. Oh, well, thank you, Professor. That means a lot coming from you. Help SOS. Why the need to hide this in some sort of code? My question is, well, Clark and I have been friends for many years. If he wanted to tell me something, he wouldn't have to hide it. I'm not yet certain what this means. Oh, how mysterious. My first day on the job, and it's already so Leighton-esque. Leighton-esque? What on earth does that mean? Emmy, have you heard of me before today? Heard of you? Of course I've heard of you. I know everything about you, Professor. Ursula Leighton, at age 27, became youngest professor in the history of Preston Heller University. That lines up with the flashback cutscene in... Uh, Unwound Future, where he gets the hat. Published in numerous academic journals, which I could recite chronologically if you like. Astute intellect and pre preternatal. Not pre I can't read that word. <laughs> preternatural. Preternatural skills of observation have been utilized by Scotland Yard to solve some of London's most difficult criminal cases. Single, 34 years old. Capricorn. I made that last part up, just a guess. Yep, see? 34. Three years before the original trilogy. Ha! I can't read! That is true. I cannot read. Well, you've certainly done your homework. I can see why Dean Delmona hired you. When I asked Dean Delmona about the position, I told him I wouldn't take no for an answer. Interesting. May I ask why you were so intent on working with me? Hmm. He doesn't see... He doesn't remember. Emmy? Hmm? Um, so where did you say we are headed, Professor? Ha! No. I didn't. Emmy, if you're to be my assistant, you must set a few rules. As an English gentleman, I can never allow you to follow me into a dangerous situation. That sounds reasonable. Let's just remember that there are exceptions to every rule. English gentlemen. <laughs> You're funny, Professor. Yes, well, thank you. In answer to your question, we are headed to the town of Mist Harlery. Mist Harlery? Mist Harlery? Why is that name familiar? Arya's motto, words are hard. Indeed. That is, that is, a, that is a good motto. About six months ago, some ancient remains were discovered there. You probably read about it in the Times. Yes, I remember reading that the fabled Golden Garden might be located in Miss Hollery. And now a close friend of yours who lives in Miss Hollery has sent an urgent plea for help. A great archaeological find linked to a mysterious letter. All of surrounded by an air of danger. I can't imagine a situation possibly being more Leighton-esque. Emmy. And you refrain from saying, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Letter and Golden Garden. Leighton received a letter from his old friend Clark that had a hidden message within. Why would Clark use such a roundabout way to enlist his aid? The village of Miss Tollery is said to lie over the remains of a great city of gold built by an ancient civilization. Does it truly exist, or is it merely legend? Hmm. 
a good question. All right, Panhead. Have a good rest of your day. Stay sharp. All right, save our progress. Chapter One, The Fog of Miss Tolery. Let us solve this mystery. Oh my gosh, please. And there it is, Miss Tolery. So this is Miss Tolery, huh? It feels a little eerie. Miss Tolery is known for its thick fog. Some say the town is straight out of a fairy tale. Not any fairy tale I've ever read. Very misty indeed. <laughs> Darum, welcome in! Hold on, I need to adjust my camera again. Right I forgot to switch it before we started. <laughs> I need to adjust my model again, too. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. The Golden Garden. We got our story goal today. But why is Clark being so secretive? Hmm. What are we doing today? We are solving a new Professor Layton mystery. That is what we are doing. Let's see. Do we have anything interesting? <laughs> I forgot about the animation glitch there with the flame. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> the hat literally glitches up as he blinks. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're here to solve a mystery of a giant specter, Jerem. That's what I was trying to say. Mama Mango! Welcome in, Mango. Hope you're doing well. The river is pretty impressive. Several canals flow through the town and look at the river. Sprite error? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Ah, no. It's pretty funny. Let's see. Well, there's certainly no danger of a drought hitting here. What's that on top of the hill? Appears to be a house. I think maybe that's where ha, your friend I can't Mr. Read. Triton lives. Mr. Triton. Remember that. Mr. What? Triton. <laughs> it seems a bit ominous for Clark's tastes, but perhaps. I've got a strange feeling about that place. Something about it. Emmy. Clayton, are your eyes okay? Clayton, yes, why do you ask? Emmy, uh, no reason, just checking. <laughs> Here comes someone. Maybe he knows where we can find Mr. Triton. Hello. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Miss Tolery. I'm Alvis. Charm. Nice hat. Let me show you something the locals keep secret. Tap that wooden box with your stylus. Did the line play? Did the line play? Oh, no, it didn't. Hold on. Fund those points back to you. I didn't hear the line. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. Gotta go to the void real quick. <clears throat> Alright. Should be good now. Once it reloads, you should be able to do it. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. But tap it like you mean it. Not just once and not just twice. Tap the box three times. Um. Ah, hit coin! Nice. Beautiful. She shines like the sun. This, my friends, is a hint coin. Objection! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> For what? When you find a puzzle you cannot solve, use one of these lovelies. Spend them wisely, for they earn limited supply. If you squander them, I will not dry your tears. Hint coins are hidden in many places, so if you see anything suspicious, be bold and tap away. And that, my friends, will serve you well in this tolerance. I must go now. Such humility challenges the hair. Congratulations! 
Congrats on the three stream streak, Mango. Congrats. And with that, he's gone. What an interesting fellow. We didn't even get to ask him if he knows where your friend lives, Professor. Jerome, congrats on the three stream streak as well. That's all right for now. Oddly enough, there was no return address on Clark's letter. Well, I'm sure someone in town knows him. Let's ask around. I guess we don't need the tutorial on moving. Hooray! Now what? Now we need to go find Mr. Clark Triton. Easy enough. Tap the shoe, tap the arrow, and go. Very good. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? All right. Moving forward we go. Oh, before I forget, Professor, how would you like me to keep notes for our investigation? Ah, yes, in the trunk. All right, let's see. Open the trunk. Yep, we got the save. Is this the last PL game? No. No, it is not. <laughs> I can say that right now. Puzzle you left solved or marked with an O. Yep, yep, yep. We know this. Have the journal. Oh, yeah, this is new. The episodes thing. The episodes um, menu. There is a specific episode that we will need to watch in order for things to make sense. Ah, yes, the London Life button. The London Life button, the mini game. The London Life minigame is actually pretty fun, and it goes pretty quickly. If anyone would like to see me play that, let me know. Well, I'm certainly going to earn my way as an assistant by keeping track of everything. I have no doubt you'll get the hang of it in no time. Shall we move on? Alright. Where is Clark's house? Huh? It might be prudent to ask for directions here. Perhaps this young man can help us. Oh, puzzle time. Hey there, Gramps. No in town. Gramps? The professor doesn't look that old. That's all right, Emmy. You know where the Triton residence is, young man. Sure, but I'm not telling unless you solve my puzzle. Of course, naturally. <laughs> all right, tourist spotting. Oh. These four photos were taken at the same time, at the same location. Three of these were shot by tourists who took turns taking pictures of each other. One of these photos was taken on a completely different day. Tap the three photos that were taken by the tourists who traveled together. Hmm. Oh yeah, I remember this one. It's the shadows. Because three of the shadows are the same, whereas this guy's shadow is all the way over here. Hmm, the puzzle music is kind of lullaby-like. Fitting with the flute music that played when that specter appeared, hmm. Some puzzles must be met directly. And new puzzle lines for the professor. No puzzle is without an answer. Yeah, this is the first game that also brought in new puzzle lines as well. Well, n more new puzzle lines. More new puzzle lines, I mean. They still had new ones in the originals. And what am I saying? I, yeah, I can't. <laughs> could probably read and relax to said music too. Oh, absolutely. Definitely in my playlist for Professor Blade music to relax to. Amazing! You sure, know, you sure know your puzzles for someone your age. Haha, <laughs> why? Now, you were going to tell us where to find the Triton residence. That old Triton guy lives straight across the rope bridge and then to the left of the crossroads. I live up North Ellie. We had to evacuate the area. Evacuate? Why is that? The Oracle said it would be dangerous there, so we had to go. Oracle? Oracle? Who or what is that? I don't know, but my mum says the Oracle has saved a lot of people from getting hurt. Hmm. Professor, what do you think this Oracle could be? I'm not sure yet. Perhaps it has something to do with the diet in Clark's letter. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh? Professor, there are two road bridges here, but one is sealed off. And it appears that this is the bridge we need to use. 
The ropes are all tied up in these ridiculous knots. I wouldn't even know where to start on tying them all. Well, I suppose one could go through all that trouble before. For what, Professor? Undoing all of the knots appears to be quite an arduous task. One can do away with all of the rope by cutting it in one place. Take another look, then. The whole thing can be undone with one cut. Yes, look closer and tell me where you think we should cut. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, look, Professor. There's something oh. on the passenger seat. <laughs> All right, I see. Hold on. All right. Let's get the boy in here. All right, hold on. Just a moment. Let me disappear for a sec. All right, Luke, you're up. All right, I'm here. Okay. Okay, there we are. For some reason I wasn't biting up like I was supposed to. There we go. Now I'm here. Goodness me. Another adventure? Oh, I know where we are. Yes. This is Miss Targary, my hometown. I know exactly where we are. Oh. I know what puzzle this is too. Okay, let's see then. The road bridge is your only way over, but someone sealed it off. You only need to cut the rope in one place to unlo unlock the bridge. Where should you cut the ropes? Choose one of the five points in order to cut the rope. Hmm. All right then. Let's see. Where should we cut? So let's see. We cut here. Follow it along this way. This here. Nope. Hmm. About here. Hmm. No. Actually, I think it has to be this one. Things might get a bit confusing now. Why would they get confusing now? I know what happens. Remember, I was there. Okay. Saint Seiya, welcome in as well. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I think it has to be this one. Ah, perfect. Just as I thought. No puzzle is too hard for the professor's apprentice. Oh, don't worry, we're going to explore more of this tolerary. That's my hometown, so no worries. Correct. Cutting that one spot will unravel the entire thing. Oh, and Emmy's here too. Oh, of course. I'm starting to get a feel for what it's what being your assistant is like. You're doing a wonderful job thus far, Emmy. All right. Who do you think is responsible for this? Well, there is no sign indicating the bridge closure, so I suspect it is a work of a local mischief maker. Hmm. I wonder. So in which adventure did you and the Professor meet Sherlock and Watson? Huh? Who's that? If were unstable and dangerous, it wouldn't just be simply roped off, would it? This bridge may have its best year behind it. I don't think we need to worry, however. I wish I shared your confidence, Professor. I can't believe people still use this bridge. Do you have a fear of bridges? Hey Luke, I'm curious that we never got to see your family before, or am I wrong? No, this is the first time you're meeting my family. 
of bridges? No. Of this bridge? Yes. You can't even drive on it. There must be another route in town into town for automobiles. Of course. Well, I'll move your car later, Professor. I'd hate for anything to happen. Enjoy your break, Dark Gravity. No need, Emmy. I'm sure it will be fine. Let's go ahead and make our way across. Wait! Professor, look! Oh, yes, the mouse badges. I almost forgot about those. <laughs> That'll be important later. Alrighty, though. I think it's time for me to head off. It was lovely seeing you all again, but I have to turn this back to Aria. Later! I'm back. <sighs> okay. Oh, so we solved the rope bridge puzzle. Nice. All good there. Alright, let's continue. Find Clark's house. Whoa. Oh my! Professor! Look at this house! It's completely destroyed! The road here is damaged as well. I wonder if this has something to do with Mr. Triton's letter. We need a record of this. Ah, yes, in Emmy's camera. Oh, you have a camera. Of course. Gathering data can only help an investigation. I hope no one was hurt here. If this is the work of some giant, then Miss Harley is in great danger. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Let's find Mr. Triton. Never seen a mark quite like that before. Just saying it's late in time? Oh, absolutely, indeed. What do you think that symbol is supposed to mean? Don't touch the witch's mark! Not unless you want to end up like Brock. Oh my! You startled me, sir! I startle myself sometimes. I used to complain about this dump, but look at it now! Was this your house? I'm so sorry, my good man. No worries, Squid James. Welcome back. And welcome back, Dark. Was this my house? You bet it was. The operative word being here being was. The witch's mark appeared and the windows went smash. The walls went boom. And the roof, the roof went oh no. You looking for some nice warm rubble over your head? I'd sell cheap. <laughs> At least now it gets all sorts of natural light and natural moisture. <laughs> Professor, is he going to be okay? I can't be certain. Perhaps we could help if we knew a bit more about the witch's mark. A mysterious giant and a witch all in one town. This could get very interesting. Hmm, a witch's mark as well. What an interesting phenomenon. Oh, hello, miss. Smash and boom? Is he referring to Deku and Bakugo? Oh my gosh, Dark. They have colorful characters. It, the the Platon games have such colorful characters, it's a polite way of describing it. What do you mean? I think the characters are just unique. They are just. They're supposed to be a little bit kooky, a little bit weird. But that wouldn't be a Professor Layton game if it wasn't that way. Oh dear, oh dear, what trouble! If you need any help, ma'am, may we be of assistance? My cart fell over. Now my cart is empty and the street is full of my stuff. Perhaps we can help you put it all back into your car. Yes, oh please, oh please, I would be so grateful. Alright, reloading the cart. Alright, let's figure out how to put this back into the cart. I love the music for this game, if you can't tell. Ah. Let's see. Well, it does take place in London, so it's as weird as it gets. What do you mean? Well, it takes place in Miss Tollery, which is just outside of London. Let's see. Nope, that definitely won't work. Let's see. Oh. Hold on. 
I think I'm getting it. Hold on now. Here. Oh, not quite. Not quite. I love the music of this game. Yes. Me too. London Backyard, lol. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Where in the world does this piece go? I think this piece here is like the central piece that we need to figure out where it goes. This piece goes in a corner, I can tell. And this goes here. And this... Where does this go? This is the piece that is the... the most confusing. Doesn't work. Oh! There we go! Got it! Got it! This took some creative thinking. I love the thrill of a good solution. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Saint Seiya. One of these days I'm throwing my single brain cell out of the window. Oh, please don't. Don't do that. Your belongings are now in order. Oh, thank you. Now I must hurry and evacuate the area. Is there an emergency? Haven't you heard? A giant is destroying the town. I packed up my stuff as fast as I could. The police gave the order to evacuate, but I wasn't leaving all my stuff behind. Of course, if the Oracle weren't around, we wouldn't have had any warning at all. This Oracle? What is he, or she, or it? Oh, I don't ask questions. The police hear from the Oracle, and they inform everyone else. You two should be careful walking around town. And thank you again. Begin with this giant. Professor, it seems that everyone here fully believes in this giant. Homes ruined, and all-out evacuation in process. These are most certainly related to Clark's letter. It's Flora, she's the giant. Flora... This is a prequel game. Flora isn't even here. The Triton house is up ahead. Let's find Clark as quickly as possible. Alright, find Clark's house. Check out this boat, Professor. The people of Miss Hollery must navigate the town via their canals. They probably travel by boat as much as they do on foot. It's like Venice, only weirder. I imagine that boats are used here more than automobiles. We must take a boat ride before we leave, Professor. Lovely. After we have spoken with Clark, let us find ourselves a boat. The Triton House should be just over this bridge, shall we? Alright, let's move. Say hey! Come on and give Bucky's old puzzle a shot! Of course, naturally. There's a puzzle. Say, hey there. Don't think I've seen you folks before. The fuck is my name and boats are my game. If you're new to Miss Tollery, you're not getting away without taking a ride in one of my beauties. I can take you anywhere in town in a flash. Better than flying. We'll keep that in mind during our investigation. Thank you. You look like puzzle fair folk. How about a quick one? Puzzle fairing folk. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, this puzzle. Okay, you need to get one dog, two cats, and three baby chicks across a river. You can take two animals at a time. If you leave the dog with only one cat, there will be a fight. The chicks on the river bank must outnumber the cats, otherwise a fight will break out. 
Can you ferry all of the animals across without them fighting? Let's see. If we do it like this, and bring the cat back, we bring the two... No. Must outnumber the cat. Mm. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go over. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Uh. Did I miss anything important in the last 11 minutes? Well, we're headed towards the Triton house. And we've discovered that more, um, let's see, no, bring the, this guy back over, and then we'll bring, hmm, chicks must outnumber the cats, otherwise a fight will break out, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, hold on. I remember solving a puzzle like this as a kid once. Yeah. Let's see. Do this. Go back. No, I forgot. Ugh. Let's see. Do this. Bring the cat back. Let's see. No, let's see. Is that... Oh, no, that's fine. We... Oh, yeah, we can't... We just can't leave them there. Okay. So then let's take the cat back with us. And then we take two chicks over, go back, and get the two cats. There we go! We did it! A Woo! challenging puzzle, to be sure. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. There we go. Ah, no. Phew! We did it. Perfect. Say, that's good work. Remember, if you want to get around in a flash, just find Bucky. All right, Bucky. Thanks for the tip. Oh, another mouse badge. Nice. No worries, Dark. Hello? Do you think that large house up ahead there is the Triton residence? You two looking for the mayor's roost? Um, no, we're actually looking for Clark Triton's residence. That's what I just said, Birdbrain. Oh, well, I wasn't aware that Clark was the mayor. <laughs> Clark Triton is the mayor of Miss Tollery. Surprise! Been a while since you've seen him. How long have you been cooped up under a rock? Mayor Triton has been in office for about a year now. He does a good job with all the troubles. He's pretty cool. So, Clark has been in office for about a year now. Well, here we are. This place looks huge! Yes, it appears that Clark has done well for himself. Let's try the door. Hello? Coming? Yes, may I help you? Hello. My name is Herschel Layton. I'm an old friend of Mr. Triton's. He should be expecting you. Hmm. I will inform Master Triton. I'm Please thirsty. Wait. Thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> wait for Clark in the parlor. Well, let's wait here, Emmy. I'm sure someone will escort us. I don't suppose you were planning on visiting the Oracle here in town? What is this Oracle? Oh, I wouldn't know anything about it. I'm just a poor old maid. You should ask Dolan about that. Thank you. We shall. 
Sir, madam, Mr. Triton will now see you in the parlor. The parlor is through the door on the left, right there. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Shades. Thank you, my good man. All right, wait for Clark in the parlor. Can't believe my eyes, <laughs> Herschel. I'm Hello, Liam O'Brien, as well. <laughs> Hello, Liam O'Brien. Ah, too long, my good friend. Welcome in, Ro Ninja. And who might this be? Oh, of course. How rude of me. I'm the professor's assistant, Emmy Altava. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Triton. I've heard so much about you. Aww. Thank what you. good manners. Herschel, an assistant. Well, we both seem to have moved up in the world. Not Clark still, just Clark Triton. Mm hmm Hardly. Truth be told, Emmy has already proven herself my equal. Herschel, as humble as ever. Hey, Emmy, Liam, again. Back in London, <laughs> Leighton and I both wanted to be elite archaeologists. Indeed. Danica, welcome in. One of us certainly succeeded, and somehow, I found myself as mayor of this small, rural town. That is no small feat, Clark. Oh, Herschel, no need to humor me. It is amusing at best, I'll give you that. But all that aside, please, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I came as soon as I received your letter. Letter? I'm sorry, Herschel. What letter is that? Huh? Hmm. The letter that... Did you not send this letter? Please, have a look. Oh. Ah. That's weird. I certainly did not write that. But who would have forged it? Who indeed? Have you made any enemies recently? Of course, Herschel. I'm the mayor. It appears to me that someone wanted you here in town. Some trickery, perhaps? Maybe. Yes, that is what I am thinking now as well. So, who wrote the secret message? Good question, Emmy. Mr. Triton, there was a hidden plea for help in that letter. Clark, do you think this is simply the work of some prankster? Ninja, thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp! No, unfortunately I don't. Miss Tollery is in grave danger. At least he admits it. We have indeed been under attack by some sort of mysterious giant. Just as that letter states, it wreaks havoc at night when the fog is thick. It sounds ridiculous, I know, but it is true. But how can that be? I must confess, I have yet to see this giant with my own eyes. However, the destruction of homes and buildings left in its wake, that is quite enough evidence for me. Yeah, I would say so. The townspeople are afraid. They believe that the Spectre has returned with a vengeance. The Spectre. The Spectre? There's a legend here that tells of an ancient spirit, a Spectre. Ah, yes. When the town was in danger, the Spectre would act as Miss Tollery's guardian in its moment of need. It sounds very similar to the story we heard in the first cutscene, huh? But this Spectre is... different. Instead of protecting us, it is trying to destroy us. I am doing all I can, but if we are dealing with an ancient entity, then I fear my efforts are in vain. As the mayor, it is my duty to keep this town and its citizens safe. But I... Herschel, could you... Sir? Oh, uh, hi, Dolan. What is it, Dolan? Pardon me, sir, but you mentioned that Professor Layton worked on some difficult cases for Scotland Yard. You said, with great pride, that he had assisted in solving them all. Oh, yeah, that's true. Perhaps we could ask for his assistance here, as well. Of course, Stoland. I suppose I have no other choice. Herschel, 
Will you help us? Please, we're an old friend. Just as we learned in the Unwound Future, not everything is as it seems. Oh, definitely not. Of course, Clark. I would never refuse a friend in need. I assure you, I will do what I can. Thank you, Herschel. I am eternally in your debt. Things are starting to get good, eh, Professor? Hmm. Before we go, Clark, I haven't even asked about Brenda or your son. How is Luke? <laughs> First mention of Luke. The first mention of Luke and uh, Brenda Triton, who is Luke's mother. My wife is fine. She's away. Family matters. Luke has shut himself up in his room, as usual. Mm. That's different, isn't it, from what we're used to? I would like to say hello to Luke, if that is all right. I haven't seen him since he was a baby. Hmm. Of course. I think he might yep, enjoy that. Yep, that's Luke's dad. If you didn't realize that already. <laughs> I should warn you. He has been withdrawn lately. Mm. Some days, I can't even get him out of his room. At this point, Luke is ten. I ask him what the matter is, and he responds with silence. Perhaps it would be good for him to talk to someone outside of the family. I would appreciate that, Herschel. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, Clark. I shall have a few words with Luke before Emmy and I begin our investigation. Save your progress? Indeed we shall. Chapter 2. The Boy Who Foretold Disaster. Hmm. What does that mean? Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to take my break real quick before we go meet up with Luke. And I will be right back. I can see the resemblance. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> if someone called the current Luke here, it'd get awkward seeing his past self. Uh, yeah. Probably not best to do that, huh? Alright. I'll be right back, everybody. BRB!
All right, I'm back. I return. Hmm. Hello, hello. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Okay. Go to Luke's room. Ah, uh, yes, we get to meet, uh, ten-year-old Luke. CBZ, welcome in! Alright. How... Anyone curious as to why Luke is withdrawn, as Clark stated? Anyone curious on that? Maybe he's sleeping. Perhaps. Hmm. Luke? My name is Herschel Layton. I'm a friend of your father's. Could we talk for a moment? Hmm. Certainly. But oh. first, you'll have to solve my door puzzle. Door puzzle? Your door puzzle? Ah, I see. Luke needs to test our metal with a puzzle. That's so cute, Professor. Let's do it. So we shall. Alright, puzzle time. And the second puzzle six. Well, puzzles five, actually. This is puzzle five. No, this is puzzle six. I was right. This is puzzle six. I can't believe I'm forgetting the OST names. Ah. If you truly the if you are truly the esteemed Herschel Layton, then this puzzle should be no problem. You will have 15 seconds to perform a specific action in front of the door. Just a second, young one. How are we supposed to know exactly what it is we're supposed to do? You may search the area outside of my door as much as you like. And when we are ready to perform this action, whatever it may be, we should let you know. Correct. But I will tell you now, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Hmm. Remember what Luke said. You can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Hmm. We are ready, Luke. You know what you have to do? I believe so, yes. Professor, are you sure? Then let's begin. Please stand in front of the door. Remember, you can't do anything to solve this puzzle. That one Luke line, he does sound rather withdrawn, like Clark says. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and there we have it. Puzzle solved. That is what you had to do. You can't do anything to solve this puzzle. Or in other words, to solve this puzzle. You can't do anything. Nothing was the thing that we had to do to solve this puzzle. An interesting puzzle, Luke. So, even from inside his room, he could still hear us if we did something. Then do it! What do? And we're starting another adventure, Danny! Welcome in! Yes, he was giving us a hint. Exactly! You solved the puzzle by doing absolutely nothing. Now, Luke, are you convinced that we are who we say we are? Luke, will you open the door now? As I promised. And there he is! A clever puzzle, Luke. Hmm. Your letter. I thought you might want it back. <gasps> oh. Professor, you think Luke wrote the letter? <laughs> Clark was never a fan of typed correspondence. He always wrote his letters out in longhand. Mm. Moreover, only someone very close so to Clark knew. would know about our past together. This someone would know I could never ignore a friend in need. Are you really Professor Layton? Is this <gasps> true, Luke? <gasps> How oh. could you do something like this? What were you thinking? Were you even thinking at all? Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, now. That was Don't probably you turn your bad back on timing me again. on that part, Clark. Clark, please. <clears throat> Forgive me. The boy has barely spoken to me in the last six months. He's been so withdrawn since the appearance of the Spectre, I don't know what else. Very soon. The world will end. Huh? <clears throat> That's not cryptic. At all. Luke, what in the world? <laughs> the end of the world. What do you mean by Objection! What? I mean what I just said. Luke, you can't say something like that and not elaborate. He just won't open up to anyone. He wasn't always like this. When he does speak, it's only to say something inscrutable, as you saw. Prophecies. Absurd. Prophecies? It's all my fault. What are you talking about, Clark? I... I'm sorry. I have urgent business I must attend to in my study. We can discuss this later. Luke, Mr. Layton is a close friend. Please talk to him. Perhaps you could even help him. Thank you, Herschel. Luke thinks he's in the sixth sense. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid that it is time for Master Luke to retire. What, now? We're right in the middle of something. It's still light out. Nevertheless, it is bedtime. If I may, Dolan, I'd like to ask Luke just one more thing. Luke, though the town has been repeatedly attacked by the Spectre, no one has been injured. It seems that an oracle alerts the townspeople from about which areas to evacuate from. Luke, I believe that you are this oracle. Am I correct? What? Absurd. Luke, I must ask you a very important question. Do you know when the Spectre will appear next? Master Luke will not stand for such boulder dash. Please leave at once. Tonight. The Spectre will appear tonight. But how could you know that? Tonight. If you want, I can also show you where it will appear next. I would very much like that. Master Luke, this joke is in poor taste. Please don't tell my father about this, Doland. Master Luke, I... Are you certain this is okay? Yes. Doland, did you tell the townspeople? Did you tell them about the Spectre just as before? Mm. I did. I will make a final tour of the area to ensure that everyone has gone. But... Then where will the Spectre appear tonight? Great Ellie Street. Then we must go now. Even if we can't stop the Spectre, we must confirm Luke's prediction. Good luck. Hmm. Is it me or does Luke look younger here? He is younger. This... This game takes place, uh, three years in the past, actually. This is three years before Curious Village, Diabolical Box, and Unwound Future. So, blah, 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 blah. He is 10 in this one, so he is younger. Luke foretells. Luke seems to be able to predict precisely where and when the Spectre will appear. But how? All right. And now we have Luke. All right, bye, Shades. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay sharp. All right. Where are we headed, Luke? The Spectre will appear tonight on Great Ellie Street in the North Ellie District. That board we met earlier said they were evacuating that area. It seems that Dolan has given them my warning. What is the fastest way to North Ellie? There is an intersection past the boat landing. From there, we need to go north. I'll show you the way. That's the area the police blocked off, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe the police have been helping with the evacuation. We saw a house earlier that had been destroyed by the Spectre. Do you know anything about that? 
Brooke's house, you mean? Yes, it was attacked. No one was hurt, but his house was destroyed. So that was the Spectre's handiwork. I certainly hope we can help the people of Miss Tarlery, Professor. I'm sure we'll find something useful in North Eric. But first, I'd like to see all of the damaged buildings. Has the Spectre attacked many areas around town? I'm afraid so, Mr. Layton. The fact that he calls him Mr. Layton right now is so funny. <laughs> well, it's not funny, but it's 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 adorable. Let's go back to Brock's house. I would like to be certain that we didn't miss anything the first time. Luke's really down from the looks of things. Poor boy. Yeah, indeed. Definitely not the cheerful self that we usually know him for. Hey, there's Luke, my boy. Glad to see you getting some fresh air, kid. Oh, hello, Bucky. Growing boys like you need to get outside and play. You trust no fun. You'll have a lot of fun playing around outside with this. Oh, thank you very much, Bucky. The toy train minigame has been added to the trunk. It feels odd even when it's a prequel. It feels like there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Younger Luke looks less chubby. I don't know how to explain it, but his sprite has a tinier head. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to explain that either. <laughs> Look at these rugged overalls. Perfect for both. Come back later for a boat ride. Right now we're dealing with, uh, maintenance issues. We'll be back and floating soon. Sure to stop by then. Alright. Investigate the destruction. When you'd expect the opposite of a younger version of him. Yeah, I guess. And am I the only one who thinks that Luke looks a little older than he should? No. No. I can tell the difference. Welcome back, Megarock. A vanilla Pepsi. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> the specter crossed my house. Now I've got a flat flat. Beat that. <laughs> I'm sorry about your home. It was lucky you weren't hurt. It wasn't luck. The Oracle said the Spectre was coming. That Oracle should become a meteorologist. At least evacuators are out of there, I'm sure. But what now? I think I'll let my Spectre insurance lapse. Feel free to laugh at me any time here, folks. Ha ha ha! Laughing at a time like this can make some of us feel rather sad. True enough. Let's leave. We need time to deal with this. Oh. Well, I guess... Hold on. I guess I'm becoming chibi for a moment. Hold on. For ten minutes, you get chibi aria. <laughs> Grima, how dare. Grima, how dare you. Alright. Ten minutes. Chibi. Whoop. I took up the whole screen. There we go. There I am. Okay. We're going in. Now I want one. Or the Pepsi hydrogen. What? Luke, one of the places were hit by the Spectre. Aria Young Luke size. <laughs> I see. I'm thirsty. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Chibi Aria jump scare. There is a house east of the crossroads that's still being repaired. And let's head there. Look, after you. All right, let's go. All right. She needs water. Don't worry, I drank some water. Don't worry. Let's see. Some houses along the. Thank you for the head pads. Thank you for the head pads. Oh, look, Professor. Oh my gosh. There's something on the passenger seat. Hold on. I will do the talk is Luke for five minutes after the ten minutes of the chibi. Hold on. I will I will do that, Zingy. Just 
Uh, give me, like, give me the ten minutes that I'm doing as the Shady, and then I will do the five minutes as Luke. Let's see. Some houses along the canal were damaged by the Spectre. Most of them have been repaired by now. Hmm. Is there any connection between the damaged houses? What are you thinking, Professor? Oh, nothing. Yes. But... but you... you must be thinking about something. I'm going to need to gather a bit more information here, Emmy. Ooh, where else can we see evidence of the attacks? Hmm... I'm sorry, but I think this is the only place that would have any damage remaining. Alright, let's head to North Ellie and see if the Inspector will appear there next. North Ellie is just north of the crossroads. I'll show you the way. I hope the police aren't still blocking the way. Alright. Let's see. Gilgan, we have very hard puzzles for you. Aria, blasphemy. Oh my god. What? What do you mean? Oh, hold on. Speaking of a puzzle. Hey there, Dora, sir. Yes, well, something like that. My name is Mido. Call me Mido. Won't go into any details, but you should leave at once. This color is dangerous right now. Sightseeing is not a good idea. Are you referring to the Spectre? If so, you needn't worry. How do you know about the Spectre? The Legend of the Spectre is not supposed to leave our borders. We've been asked by Mayor Triton to investigate the matter. Mayor? Well, yeah. Perhaps he's more confident than I thought. How good are your deductive skills? Let me see you work here. Downhill from here. While this photograph shows two cyclists passing each other on a hill, the camera was tilted when it was taken, making the incline look completely flat. Can you tell which side of the photo is actually uphill? Please tap A or B to answer your answer. Well, there's an obvious thing here. Hey, Aiden, welcome in. It is dark. Let's see. You see this guy's feet are off of the pedals. If he wouldn't have his feet off of the pedals if he was going uphill. So this way is uphill. What do you think about this? Ha 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 ha. That puzzle was no problem. That was easy. You see? You see? His feet aren't even on the pedals. Ha ha ha. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. I see you've got quite some potential. Good news for us. Good luck on your investigation. Can you tell us anything about the Spectre? Mm, no, but I do wonder why the Spectre chose to show up now. I've had a problem with these sinkholes appearing lately. I've seen some unnaturally thick fog, too. So many problems in our little town these days. Hmm. Strange mist. Whenever the specter appears, the village is enshrouded in unusually thick fog. Is this also the work of the specter? Hmm. Alright, to North Ellie we continue to go. This is North Ellie. You're a great tour guide, Luke. You're as good as this as you are delivering hidden messages. Hidden messages? Yes. Like the one in the letter where you wrote Help SOS. <sighs> well, what was that all about? I believe that test was intended for me. Luke here was hoping to find someone that he could trust. Sometimes it's difficult to share secrets with those closest to you. But it's always easier to speak with someone who understands you. Would that be fair to say? Uh, judging by his expression, I'd say you've impressed Luke with your powers of observation, Professor. Luke, is there something you'd like to tell us? You can trust us. I can't. Not now. That's fine. We can wait until the time is right. For now, our hands are full with the spectre. We need to find a place where we can safely observe the spectre. The second floor of the hotel on Great Ellie looks down onto the street. That is our next destination. Hmm. The 
The letter was actually written by Clark's son, Luke. He sought the professor's help and wrote in code so that his message would be safe from prying eyes. The letter with... Yes. The letter was written by huh? Luke the entire time. Ha ha ha. The evacuation order's been given. Now move along. Nothing to see here. Didn't we just see you elsewhere? How am I supposed to know who or what you saw just saw? His tolerant officers have the same uniforms, helmets, and haircuts. Many of us are related as well. It's all by the order of Chief Jakes. This isn't the time to discuss all this regulation. Official regulation. Can't let you pass this way. You'll have to get permission from either the chief or the mayor. They have permission. Ah, Mayor Triton's son is accompanying me. Well, that's a different matter then. You may pass. You tell your father I said hello, will you, son? Being the son of the mayor has its perks. Oh, hello. Ah, yes, fate is kind to bring us together once more. I hope you are well, my friends. Yes, we meet again. Is there something we can help you with? So I went to a store next to my work and realized that Neko Wafer are still on stock. I thought they were gone. Ah, I see. I have no idea what that is, Jerem. <laughs> the loop pass. You help me. That is rich indeed, my tall hatted friend. Say nothing but tap that pipe there. Tap strong. You must tap ten times or so. Any less, and I cannot help you. Huh? Oh, the pipe here. Hmm? Huh? You found a new item. Tiny fossil. Oh, the collectibles! That's right! Yes, start a collection with that. Now, you may just discover an entire new passion. There are treasures hidden in odd places around town. Add these objects to your collection. Soon your collection will be grand enough to inspire many all across the land. All these items are scattered about. If you think a place suspicious, tap, 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 and then tap more. I understand. Thank you. It's quite thanks to my investigative mind. Those are the words of a passionate gentleman. Let me reward you, good sir. Do you recall the bridge where fate first brought us together? Go to the wooden box and trust me. And now I shall take my leave. Follicle duty calls. Enjoy your tapping, my friends. And he's gone. The collection has been added to the trunk. You've received the collection from Aldis. Collection is now available in the professor's trunk. Here you can store any rare items you find on your travels. Collect as many of these items as you can during your investigation. We now have a place to store items during our investigation. Now to the hotel on Great Ellen Street. Alright. To the hotel! <laughs> ah, here it is. Here's the hotel. The area has been evacuated. Everyone should be gone, right? Only one way to find out. Whoop. That's the ten minute timer for Chibi done. Let me switch back to my regular model here. Okay. But then I'm immediately gonna have to disappear because they was who got redeemed. So hold on. I'll be right back. Enjoy the five minutes with Luke. Oh, am I back already? Okay. Uh Oh, so I'm in the party now. Oh, I see. Hmm, well, this is going to be interesting. I'm not going to say anything that'll, well, spoil anything for this adventure, but I will say things are only going to get more interesting from here. Oh, I don't see anyone here. There's a bell on the counter. Let's see if anyone answers it. Oh. Hello again. Hello, hello. Oh. Oh, yes, it's Joseph. Well, finally, some guests. Can I get you folks a room? Sir, you must be aware that you are at risk today. Have you not received the evacuation order? 
evacuation order, although we have more cancellations than usual. As the owner of this establishment, I have no intention of leaving. The Spectre is coming tonight. He won't be having any guests. Well, let the blasted Spectre come. He can put down a deposit just like everyone else. Besides, where is there to run to? The Spectre won't be leaving this colliery any time soon. Perhaps not, but at least you'd be safe. Did you ring the bell to get a room or to badger an old man into abandoning his business? I suggest you refrain from telling me to go elsewhere unless you'd like me to tell you the same. I suppose that's logical. Who would like a room, please? Actually, you look like pretty sophisticated folks. Maybe you could help me with something. Oh, it's puzzle time. Room check. Oh, yes! I remember this puzzle. From Chibi Aria, she transforms into Luke Skywalker. Oh, wait, wrong Luke. Huh? Who's Luke Skywalker? What? What in the world? You need to check all 12 rooms in the hotel. You want to be as efficient as possible and make your rounds without entering the same room twice. There is a number you can use to help you help you remember the route, so that you can check every room quickly with no backtrack. What is that number? This is where the memo function will come in handy. Go like this, here, and down this way, and we have a two. So if we can start from here, go up, and around, like this, to the goal here, it's 25. There we have our answer. Oh yes, and we have to write it out manually. <laughs> I forgot about that. This took some creative thinking. Oh, I yes, love the thrill of a animation. good solution. That animation was quite weird. I will say. Right, there we go. That's all there was to it. How could I lose sleep over that? Tell you what, take room 302. Best city view in the district, right up the stairs. You're too kind. Thank you. All right, room 302. It is a new animation. Room 302, here we are. This is great! We can see the entrance of the entire block from here. We're gonna have a front row seat for the Spectre. Well, we know that thick fog comes along with the Spectre. I hope the fog won't obscure our view. Save our progress. Chapter 3 the spectre appears. Oh boy. I remember this all too well. We still have some time before the sun sets. Would you mind giving us a quick... Yeah. Would you mind giving us a quick tour of North Ellie, Luke? You want to go sightseeing? Now? Not exactly. But if the spectre appears, I would like to be familiar with the lay of the land. Oh, of course. Well then, we should go before it gets dark. Scouting is a key step in a proper investigation. How exciting! This is not exciting! The Spectre is very dangerous business! I know that. It can still be exciting. Well, there's... We're taking this investigation very seriously, Lou. Alright, that's my five minutes up. Alright. Thanks for having me on again, everybody. We'll see you all some other time. Bye! Alright, thank you for that, Luke. Alright, we're back. Oh, it seems we completed Chapter 2. Oh, very nice. Thank you, thank you. Let's all keep in mind how important it is to have a clear head during an investigation. Lest we miss an issue. Miss, miss a clue. I can't read, apparently. Keep calm and carry on, even 
been on the directs. It's the way of the English gentleman. And the way of the English gentleman. And lady. Now let's get going. <laughs> I love how he says it like that. I'm not chibi, Jerem. I'm not chibi. Explore North Ellie. Mr. Layton, what exactly are we looking for here anyway? We need a clear understanding of our surroundings. Let's survey the neighborhood. Of course. Let's start on Murray Street and go to Pike Lane from there. Right. Let's explore. Oh, wait. Hold on. I went the wrong way. Murray Street. Hello. I left in a rush when I heard about the Spectre, but I'm worried about Joseph. Have you seen him? I'm sorry. And you are? Oh, I'm Bobby. I work at the hotel on Great Ellie Street. I left as quickly as I could when I heard the news, but I never saw Joseph leave. Last I saw him, he was muttering something about next year being a better tourist season. I'm scared that the hotel may get destroyed with Joseph inside. It's all right, miss. I saw him earlier. I think he'll be fine. I can't help but worry, though. I should have dragged him out of the hotel instead of my precious dolls. Number 17. Which doll? It may not look like it at first, but one of the dolls marked A, B, or C is identical to the doll on the far left. Which of the three dolls could be an exact match for the fourth doll? Bobby. Not Bobby. No nose. Just a Bobby. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. Which of the three dolls could be an exact match for the fourth doll? Oh! It's this one. Some puzzles must be met directly. With the puzzle solve animation. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No puzzle is without an answer. Indeed, no puzzle is without an answer. The doll is reversible. When you flip it over, the skirt falls to expose another torso and face. Then the arms are seen as the legs and vice versa. You simply had to look for a doll with the same colored skirt fringe as the doll on the left, but with opposite colored arms and legs. <laughs> are those your dolls? Yes, I'm very attached to them. But how could I take away my dolls and leave my boss behind? I feel terrible. I hope the Spectre passes right by Great Ellie Street. Alright, keep going up Murray Street. Oh! It's a cat! Clever indeed. Wow! Hey! A kitty! Come here, kitty! Wow! What an interesting cat. It has a collar, so it must have a home. Let's get it! <laughs> Luke and his love of animals. Luke, stop! He's being such a child, Professor. Oh, he may be a precocious one, but Luke is still a young boy. And that means we must be young as well if we want to keep up with him. He's headed west. Alright, find Luke! <sighs> cat is really fast. <sighs> there you are. I thought we were going to lose you. Where did that cat run off to? Hey, there it is. Professor, please stop him. He's fine. Let's just go the behind him. It'll do us both some good. No one told me that Leighton's assistant had to be in such good physical shape. <laughs> Well, Emmy, what did you expect? Here, yeah, kitty, kitty, kitty. Looks like we lost it. Where did it go? That cat probably has a home somewhere in the air. Let's keep looking. Press are being sweet. This looks like a book. Dep, 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 words. 
one, two, three. This looks like a laboratory of some sort. Is that right, Luke? I don't know. I've never seen this place before. Did the pad run inside? Let's find out! Right. Find the cat. Hello. Oh. Hello. Welcome to my lab. How can I help you? Uh, hello. I was chasing a cat, and I think it ran in here. Was it yours? We keep many fish here, but not cats to speak of. I think I know who you're talking about, though. I can tell you, but I need some help with this problem first. We had to be both physically and mentally well. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, yes, this puzzle. There are four types of fussy fish in the tank below. The orange fish dislike the yellow fish, and the yellow fish dislike the blue ones. The blue fish abhor the purple, and the purple fish can't stand the orange. What's worse, no fish can be with another fish of the same color. Add dividers by drawing straight lines from the notches along the side of the tank without crossing over any fish. Using just four dividers, can you divide the fish and bring harmony to the tank? Hmm. A good question. Hmm. Hmm. The orange fish dislike the yellow fish. And the yellow fish dislike the blue ones. The blue fish abhor the purple, and the purple don't like the orange. So orange Orange does not like yellow, yellow does not like blue, blue does not like purple, and purple does not like orange. Okay, oh dear. <sighs> Let's see. Let's do that. Huh? No, that doesn't work. Except the purple fish look more pink. Hmm. Blue fish abhor the purple. Hmm. Fish! Yes, fish! Let's see. Orange dislike yellow. So we're going to have to somehow. There. Yellow. Yellow dislike the blue, but not the purple. That's okay. Um. That's fine. Blue and orange. Yellow and purple. Blue and orange. Blue and orange. Yellow and orange. Okay. Um. Let's give it a shot. I think this is right. Yes! Let's go! I knew I could do it. And Luke's first puzzle that we get. Nice. Success! Ha ha ha. Amazing. Mission complete. I did it. Now, can you tell me where the cat went? I'm sure the cat you saw lives in a very strange house deep in the forest. He seems to have some interest in the fish we're researching here, so he visits every now and then. How do you research fish? There are many kinds of fish in Miss Hollery unique to this area. We research those rare types of fish in this facility. Actually, we have some fish we've only seen here in town. We could always use some help. sufficient records in the databank, the flow of individuals will link together. Thank you for the Don Hung line. Oh my goodness. That scared me for a sec. 
Love the new animations for solved puzzles? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, observe fish. That sounds very exciting, but I don't know if I'd have the time, actually. I'll help you observe them, miss. I can tell you love animals. I think you'll like these fish as well. Many of our fish still need names. Do you think you could help us with that? Oh yeah, we get to name the type of fish. What should we call them? What should we call these fish? Should we call them the Shade Slayer fish? Should we call them, or just fish? <laughs> fish. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh. The sheesh. Shade fish? Ooh. That's actually pretty cool. Shade fish. I like that. The shade fish. They are the shade fish. Shade slave plus fish equals sheesh. <laughs> uh, but sheesh means something else, Grima. <laughs> Well, we need no more than ten letters, but no less than zero letters. I like the shade fish. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? <sighs> blah, blah, blah. I take a sip of my water real quick. <sighs> All right. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, shade fish sounds nice. Yeah. Shade fish it is then. And now we have the fish minigame. Lyra or seals, possibly? But that doesn't relate to me, Zingy. <laughs> Call me biased since I suggested it, but yeah. Mm. Le fish au chocolat. What? Huh? The chocolate fish? Huh? What do you mean? Poisson! <laughs> Poisson! Since we only discovered them recently, there are many things we still don't know about them. We can experiment with them and find out all there is to know. We were looking for a cat and ended up with some fish. We have to go back into the woods to find that cat, Emmy. All right, outside. Investigate the cat's house. Look, according to Marion, the cat lives in a house down this way. All right then, let's go. That cat is waiting. It seems to have developed quite a rap on that cat. I wonder if he's like this with all animals. Well, you'll find that very soon, Professor. That is correct. This house is really weird. Come now, Luke. It's not scarier than a giant spectre, is it? <laughs> no, I guess not. Good, let's go. Ah, Emmy, wait! Pardon me, ma'am. We didn't know anyone lived here. So, you just bowed into the house of the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Richelton, eh? What do you mean, clairvoyant? I knew you were going to ask that. I know about your puzzles. Puzzles you want to solve later and puzzles you still need to find. I find those poor forlorn puzzles and call them to me, the beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Richelton. Yes, you are quite clairvoyant. So, you store all the puzzles we don't end up solving? <laughs> I knew you would come around to see my true worth. Because you're clairvoyant. Right. So, we all have to come find you for any puzzles... For any puzzles we passed over or left behind. That's right. Or at least it would be right if I weren't leaving. I'm off to the hot springs. That's how I preserve my vis vivacious glow. Wait, what? So what if we need to find a puzzle while you're away in a hot spring? Oh, you poor thing. No need to worry. Granny's got you covered. 
My kitty Keats will be in charge. Wow! I knew there was something about that cat. Anytime you need a puzzle, just tap old Keats here. <laughs> he likes to wander, so you should bump into him often enough. Well, sorry I can't stay and chat, but Granny's vacation isn't going to take itself. And she's gone, just like that. I can't wait to tell the Professor and Luke about this. Emmy! Don't leave us alone like that! Sorry, Luke. I found out that this cat Keats can help us find any puzzles we left behind. Is that so? What a delightfully curious cat indeed. I'm sure we'll have some ample op uh, deb deb deb. I'm sure we'll have some ample opportunity to make use of his special skills in the future. All right. Ha! I can't read. Yes, I can't read. You seem to have wandered rather far from the hotel. Perhaps we should head back now. Yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry. Now that you mention it, I'm a bit peckish myself. Get a healthy walk. Shall we swing by the cafe? That was back over on Pike Lane. Never face a spectre on an empty stomach. All right, time to get food. Head forward. <coughs> Whoa! Hold what? What am I holding on to? What am I holding on to? Be careful because curiosity killed the cat. Oh my goodness. Yes, and the puzzle cat as well. Hey, we meet again. What? I thought you were at the Grand Bridge. Grand Bridge? I'm at every bridge. See boats, see buckets. That's what I always say. I've been serving the canal needs of my customers for a decade. Smell boats, smell buckets. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. My boats are always ship-shaped, and all my ships are boat-shaped. <laughs> oh my gosh, please. That's fantastic. Heading to Pike Lane. Lunch cannot. Whoop! Another mouse. There we go. What do we do with this? That's a good question. Head to Patty's place, which is here. Welcome to Patty's place. Our dinner special tonight is a succulent leg of lamb glazed with herb-infused olive oil. That sounds really, really good, actually. That's actually gonna make me hungry. <laughs> Served in an orange sauce with cabbage and crispy potato. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> it's a winner of a dinner that won't make you thinner. Sit down. Mm, that lamb smells so good. Really, really good. Emmy, your mouth is open. You caught a little drool on your shirt, Luke. You doing okay? Yes, lamb. I mean, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, I'm potato. I think we'd better get Luke some food. Let's grab a quick bite here, and then return to the hotel. Table for three, right this way. All of us are hungry. Oh, we are. Uh, I'm so full. I can barely see. Uh -huh. Yes, that was quite a feast. Unfortunately, we should roll ourselves back to the hotel. I can't wait to get a good look at that spectre. You make it sound like this is some sort of game, Emmy. 
how she didn't mean to make light of the situation. Let's go. Alright, back to the hotel. The fog is getting thicker. Does this mean the spectre is close? Quickly, let's get back to the hotel. Alright. Another mouse! Ba -da -ba. What's next? Pasta up, bon bon appetit. <laughs> oh my gosh, potato triton and his buddy mash. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I love that. What? Professor, look over there. Someone is still in the area. Oh, when it's a puzzle. I thought everyone had been evacuated. The spectre will be here soon. It will be dangerous. Please evacuate quickly. No, I refuse. I'm not moving another inch. I bravely packed up all my family's belongings, but my impertinent son still calls me a coward. I don't intend to do a thing for such an ungrateful son. Please don't worry about the trifling fight right now. You must get to safety, sir. You're only hurting yourself by staying behind. Please, sir, don't be so childish. Trifling? Childish? Well, if you're so mature and serious, then maybe you can solve this puzzle. If you solve it, I'll be happy to leave, but not until then. <laughs> hmm. Lovely. Stubborn. The fog has made this sign impossible to read. While the townsfolk can't recall the exact order in which the numbers appear, but they do remember the following. Each number from 1 to 9 appears once. 5 is between two larger numbers. 3 is between two smaller numbers. 7 is between two, no two larger numbers. The first number is 9 and the last number is 1. Use the clues to put the numbers in the correct order. Okay. Let's see. It says 3 is in between two smaller numbers, and the only numbers smaller than 3 are 2 and 1. So that means that 3 goes there. 5 is in between two larger numbers. Hmm. It says 7 is also in between two larger numbers. So that must mean this. Because the only two numbers larger than 7 are 8 and 9. It says 5 is in between two larger numbers. Hmm. Oh dear. Let's see. Let's put 5 here. And 6 here. And then 4 goes here. Hmm, because five is in between two larger numbers. Three is in between two smaller numbers. Seven is in between two larger numbers. And the first number is nine, and the last number is one. There we go. I'll handle this one, Professor. There we go. I did it, Professor. Whoop whoop. Mystery solved. <laughs> one more number and it's a phone number. That's true. You got it? I didn't think anyone would solve it. I'm thirsty. Thank you for the hydrate. Now, now, you promised, sir. It's time to leave this area. Oh, very well. I don't want to, but a promise is a promise. I'll go. That's a lovely hat, by the way. I'm not scared of any spectre. You tell everyone I'm not a coward. He just needed an excuse to leave with his pride intact. Everyone is motivated by something different. What motivates you, Professor? Oh, sometimes I wonder what... I wonder that exact thing myself, Ellen. At any rate, the townspeople seem to have been evacuated safely. Let's get back to the hotel. A roundabout way to answer a question there. Someone needs to drop a metal pipe. Arya needs her iron. Not like that. Well, here we are. Let's get inside the hotel quickly before the Spectre appears. Pipe, I guess. <laughs> Call it cowardice, but it's also being smart. Indeed. Hmm. What's the matter, Luke? The Spectre is trying to destroy this town. He could also destroy this hotel. Well, that's uplifting. Wait, Luke, is that another prediction? Oh, I don't know. 
Would you like us to take you home? N no. If I went home, I'd have to see my father. Oh, you're here because you wanted to see the Spectre, right? But that's right. As the one who predicts the Spectre's appearance, I have to be there. I would agree. Everything will be fine. You'll be safe, no matter what happens. I promise. Thank you, Mr. Layton. Aren't you going to reassure me too, Professor? <laughs> yes, of course, Eddie. You'll be safe as well. Now let's all head inside together. Potential father issues, it seems. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Ah, well, my few folks are going up at this hour. You should retire for the night. I should, too. I'm afraid our night is just beginning. We're going to be up until the Spectre appears. This Spectre better show. Alright, in this cutscene again. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No. Now no. you have a little bit more context. I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. Hmm. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Hmm? Oh. What is what on oh, earth and there could that it be? is. It sounds like There it is again. It sounds like music. <gasps> the flute. It must be. Hmm. Oh. Here it is. <gasps> oh. It's time. Quickly, to the window. To the window. <gasps> Giga Shadow of Peace. Here it is. The giant specter. Can this be? Specter. Mm. Yep. <laughs> oh, an extended version of this cutscene. This is it. The world is ending. Oh, poor no. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. oh, no, please. You can't go out there. Oh. Luke. Mm. Where is that coming from? <sighs> Luke, oh, listen. We must keep a clear head at times like this. Do you understand? Uh -huh. We can only uncover the truth if we stay calm and remain rational. Do you think you can do that for me? Hmm. Hmm. First major bonding moment for Luke and Luke outside. Hmm. Wow! I've never seen fog like this thick before. Not even in London! It's one of the Spectre's powers. One of its many terrible powers. Let's not worry about that for right now. Okay, Luke? I yes, Mr. Layton. Let's keep in mind that one cannot overcome fear by feeding it. You are very lucky, considering you have friends here to help you overcome your fear. I... I suppose that's true. I'm frightened too, but we can't get distracted. Now, let's go see what this specter is all about. I can see a huge shadow heading towards Great Ellie Street. Let's go! And we shall follow the specter next time. <laughs> it's getting crazy in here. We're on chapter three, and the intensity has already been risen. Hmm. This kind of reminds me of Resident Evil Zero. The villain uses music to call in sick its minions on people. Oh, goodness. 
That's scary. <laughs> but what is this specter? And what is the music that surrounds it? Hmm. All good questions. Looks like we got a mystery there. What will happen next week? We shall find out. Very interesting indeed, indeed. A giant specter, and Luke can somehow prophesy where it's going to be next. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm. Answers we will get next time. Alrighty. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Let's go ahead and find somebody to raid today before we head off. Let's see. Let's see. Lyra is live. What is Lyra up to? She's doing open co-op events. Events in Lynette's hangout event. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, let's go raid uh, Lyra's adventure today. Speaking of Lyra, I will announce more about her after we, um, words, after we begin the raid. If you are headed over to raid Lyra's adventure with us, be sure to type Shadesley Raid in the chat below so that she knows that we are coming to support her. We do have a raid message that is completely follower-friendly, if you would like to use that. Also, or you could create your own. Also, if you're headed over, be sure to follow all of her rules as you would mine. And once again, as always, have fun. Alrighty. Tomorrow, speaking of our friend, Lyra's Adventure, we will be doing our collab of Sunhaven. Continuing our collab streams of Sunhaven tomorrow. Hope y'all will be excited for that. We're gonna try to get all the tickets that we need in order to continue on in Withergate. Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> but we will prevail. We will prevail. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. And I will see you all tomorrow for Sunhaven with Lyra. That runs for four hours tomorrow. Don't forget. Four hours. Alright. I will see you all then. Bye! Stay sharp, Shadeslayers! <laughs>